Hello, this is Jill with Eidolon House, outside in our rabbit yard. Um, I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about our hutches and um, our rabbits and kind of what we do. We just built this hutch about a couple months ago. It's our newest hutch. Um, we're making more room, uh, breeding our rabbits, and so... Um, we have supplies and plans for many more hutches. We build our hutches, they're eight feet long, they're two and a half feet tall, and they're two and a half feet wide. Um, as you can see, they do slant down. The front is about two feet tall. Um, this just allows for the rabbits to be able to stand up if they want to. They do have room to run around. We do have little wooden nesting boxes in there as well for them if they need to run and hide or if they need protection from the weather. Um, they have that option. We feed them two servings of greens every day as well as a cup of pellets a day if they've eaten all their pellets. Um, I don't refill their pellets until they've eaten them and they don't really eat a lot when it's hot. We have lined the hutch with as you can see hardware cloth, the little the netting um, and that is on the walls the floor and the front except for the wall that divides the spaces in half we keep two rabbits per hutch um, and we put the hardware cloth basically between a frame of wood so they are sandwiched between two pieces of wood and then we just screw the wood together and we found that this one there's not exposed edges of the netting cloth for the rabbits or ourselves to get caught on. And two, it really keeps it tight and secure. And so the netting cloth or the hardware cloth, it doesn't sag. It's been really nice. The floor on the outside, of course, we do have um, it framed pretty well as long with, along with additional uh, framing so they can be comfortable walking on it and it doesn't sag for on there either. Um, we keep a ton of hay down in their hutches and so they just pretty much lay on the hay if it's cold enough. They move their own hay though when it's hot and just lay right on the hardware cloth. That way the air gets in and keeps them cool. Um, we like putting the hardware cloth on the back wall because we can remove that piece of wood that's on the back wall and if it ever gets to be super hot or super humid and they just need more air then we can take off that back wall and they can just have much better airflow. But so far we've kept it on. Um, we'll see how that goes if we ever need to take them off. We've you know strategically put them in the shadiest area we're under a bunch of trees and it's always breezy out here which is really good for them a lot of people have commented well not a lot but i see it on other people as well as ours but people will comment all the time about how inhumane it is to keep your rabbits outside because they're they'll get cold at night and that's not a problem that you really have to worry about with rabbits simply because rabbits prefer the cold <laughs> And so what's more inhumane is to keep them outside in the heat. So what we do with our nesting boxes, we built them, they're just very thin wood, and we built the roofs with slatted, uh, those little slats of wood, so we can weave hay in and out so that makes up the roof. And what that does is allows us to really bulk up the hay in the winter and then thin it out in the summer so we can help control that environment. Also, you know, we'll thin it out in the summer for the roof, and then we lay frozen packs on top. Now, the frozen packs are, we just buy them at Walmart, just they're what you would put into your lunch cooler, you know, your lunch box for the day. Um, and it really helps keep their environment cool, cool air sinks. And so that's why we like to put them on their nesting box, because it will drop down onto them. You can research the brands, um, the ones that we have purchased at um, 
Walmart are not poisonous, the goopiness that freezes inside. Um, but just look up, we just looked it up on the internet and found, you know, the information about what is inside that freezes and make sure it's not harmful or poisonous. If your rabbit does chew it open, you'll know that they're safe. Uh, one of our rabbits did and, you know, we were like, okay, cool, we know that they're safe. And then we also put in frozen water bottles for them to lay on in the summer to keep them cool. And they chew on those too, so that's just, that's, you know, they're rabbits, that's what they're going to do. So their roof is a metal roof that we just screwed on a wooden hay, uh, a wooden frame. Sorry, I'm being attacked with like <laughs> these little flies out here. It's driving me up the wall. Um, and they're on hinges, and so we just hoist up the the lid and there you go and then we do have eye hooks so we can lock them down so that way they don't fly open they're pretty heavy though I doubt they're ever going to fly open but in case maybe a smart little animal might get in that's Penelope she's our neighbor's horse we named her Penelope I don't actually know her name um, but that way the eye hooks will just help keep the lids secure in case it gets too windy or you know, a smart predator tries to get in. This is Harriet. She's just chillaxing in our play yard. Her play yard is 64 square feet. And I just built it. We bought the, well, my husband and I built it together. We bought the, um, you know, the fence posts and then cut them in thirds. <laughs> so they are, it's just two feet tall which has proven to not really be a problem because angoras are notoriously very docile. They don't jump as much. They, as you can see, she's just chilling. She just likes to be in the shade and laying in the cool grass. But they do run around and they like to forage and stuff. Um, however, don't let that fool you, the whole docile reputation. This guy right here jumps out of his hut. She jumps out of the play yard. He is a crazy man, so he defies all stereotypes of Angoras. That's Charlie. We love him, but he is crazy. He is our most active, our most hyper, and he's actually gotten worse since we bred him. Interesting. So anyway, that's just a little bit about our rabbits and what we do here. Um, Later I'll show you our grooming process. We focus on what we call compassionate grooming. Some uh, Angora rabbit raisers are very consistent and, you know, groom every so many days and are pretty adamant about how they groom. And we kind of leave it up to the rabbit. I mean, obviously, if they get too matted, we have to take them in and cut off those mats. Um, mats are not healthy and we are raising them for their wool so we don't want to let their wool get matted because then that means that's wool that we lost um, however when we take them in to groom if they are super nervous or just not in the mood you, you can tell right away and so we'll just do a quick you know cut some mats out if we need to and we'll come back to it later that day or the next day and usually they're like oh yeah that's right, I need to get this done. So it's good for them. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments below or shoot us an email at idolonhouse at gmail.com. Talk to you later.